Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. You may recall a couple of videos ago, I did a little tutorial video on designing some replacement sheet metal brackets for a jet ski lift. I'll put a card to that video up here um, that I have. And these brackets that you see, the inner and outer bracket are this component and this component, were uh, made out of an extruded piece of aluminum and they were damaged in a storm and it broke the jet ski lift. It's still a good lift and I didn't want to scrap the whole thing, but I couldn't get the parts I needed anymore. And so I decided to fabricate these brackets out of sheet metal. I also don't have the capability to do any sheet metal forming. So I worked with Nick from Barnes Metal Crafters down in Wilson, North Carolina, and I sent him these files and he fabricated them and took a little footage of the laser cutting and metal forming part to do this. So he's got a pretty cool laser machine that you're gonna see. Uh, it's called a fiber laser and it's able to cut metal. The other type of a laser is a, a CO2 laser, which typically is used for organic materials. Um, so Nick, super expensive uh, laser, cuts really fast, can cut thick materials, no problem cutting this aluminum piece that he had to do. And then they recorded some video of forming it in their press break. It's a little hard to see, but if you if you pay attention, when they form the bigger of the two brackets, you'll see that there is a backstop that they put the brackets up against before they lower the, the finger, the die into place to form up the bracket. And if you watch at one point, you can see that backstop move. So they program what it needs to be. And then when they execute the program, the backstop moves. So the operator just has to put the piece of material against the backstop and therefore you'll you'll see no kind of bend lines or anything on the part or nothing inscribed because the backstop is what's setting the position for all the bends. So kind of a little bit of cool technology. Let's have a look at the video and then after we see how the brackets are fabricated, I'll give you guys a shot of what the brackets look like installed on the jet ski lift. All right, I'm out here in the shop. This is our laser. Doing a couple parts for Kevin. Here's a little cut sheet here. Cutting a couple extras. Sorry for the shadow. Um, here's a quick little drawing I made of his parts to uh, give our press brake operator something to look at. So, uh, anyways, Justin here is uh, moving the zero point. We got a couple drops of aluminum we're about to cut and. Uh, See what we can do. Just gonna calibrate the head real quick. This is a fiber laser, so I'm looking through a uh, special glass, um, and there's little port holes. There's three of them on the laser, so we can see inside. Uh, CO2 laser doesn't matter as much um, to look at, but uh, this one does. It's calibrating the tip right now. It had just changed the tip a second ago. Just doing a little three-point sheet measure right now to uh, calibrate the sheet since it is in the middle of uh, the table. I think uh, Justin must have changed the setting or something there for a second. There's a little delay.
There we go. Parts are cut, and uh, I will start another video here in a second. Walk you guys over to the press brake, and this is our newer machine. Uh, it's a 40 inch uh, Cincinnati electric press brake. So, this is where we'll fold the parts up here in a couple minutes. All right, we're back at the press brake, and uh, Phil, say hi, Phil. Hey. <laughs> so, we uh, have a program uh, with our tooling. Uh, uh, we called out an eighth inch radius on the drawing, so we had to uh, get an eighth inch tool here. It's uh, actually turned around backwards for uh, these bends. Uh, but anyways, we uh, had to do a little trickery, add six bends to this part since uh, there is actually only four, but you have to bring them up to 90. That's three. Is it three, three bends? This one has three bends. Oh yeah, you're right. Three bends. I was thinking of the other one. Well, but the other one has five. But anyways. Uh, he saved both programs, so we're going to bend up the smaller of the two parts right now. And uh, so, have at it, Phil. The smaller of the two, Phil, if you want to go ahead and load up the other program. So here's the uh, smaller of the two parts. And everything checks out pretty well. So have at it, Phil. We got an error message up there. on the drawing here and uh, there's your square in there there we go there's uh, Kevin's uh, tutorial on some parts made here at uh, Barnes Metal Crafters Let me get rid of that um, but yeah this is the shop uh, cut some more stuff on the laser old uh, CO2 laser over there Hager machine here. So anyways, yep, there you go. Thanks, Kevin. BarnesMetal.com. And uh, let us know if you need anything. All right, there you can see the larger bracket is installed on the outside, and everything fits up just fine. Try to get you a better shot here. Come around, and there you can see the smaller inner bracket. All the hardware is connected. All I'm going to do is, all I'm going to do is uh, put the other brackets on and call this good for the fall. And then next spring, I'm gonna take this lift back out and clean up all the corrosion and stuff like that and get it ready to go. Um, so pretty happy with how the project went. Hopefully you guys liked the fabrication process and seeing these made. If you have any questions about that, please leave them in the comments below. And again, thanks to Nick at Barnes Metal Crafters for taking care of this for me. And one last little update. I'm gonna come back and zoom out a little bit. You can see I added the middle row of lights and so now there are 12 lights in the garage and I couldn't be happier with how bright it is out here. It made such a tremendous difference to this garage that everything is bright and well lit and if 
for the $200 and I think $56 it cost me, it was well worth the money that I spent on these LED shop lights. Um, so again, thanks for watching. Any questions, comments, whatever, leave them in the comment section below and we'll see you in the next one.